Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as posted earlier today, Microsoft is busy rolling out this year's annual feature update for Windows 11, which is version 23H2. And just a quick video to show you a couple of ways how you can actually get the update. Now, I'll leave that previous video down below if you would be interested. But first of all, it goes without saying that the first way to check to see if you can get the update is to head to Windows Update. Now, the feature updates are optional. So in Windows 11 22H2, make sure that this toggle is turned on and then check and seek for the update. That's your first point of call. Now, if you are not seeing the update through the Windows Update page, like I didn't in my case, then there are a couple of reasons. First of all, um, um, and these are just a couple of examples. Microsoft possibly doesn't want to overload their service. And um, because obviously with feature updates, they stagger their rollout. So they, one of those reasons is they don't want to overload their servers. Another one could be the reason why you're not seeing the update um, initially is because you may have a compatibility hold on your system. There could be a little problem that Microsoft has to sort out through Windows Update. And obviously then they are uh, stopping the update from going out to your device to obviously ensure a stable and successful um, update process. And then another one could be if they just staggering it, it out in different regions, which they are known to do with the feature updates. Now, as mentioned, I didn't see the update on my Windows Update page. So a couple of other things you can try, like I did, is you can head over to the Windows 11 download page over on Microsoft's website, where you can see this has been upgraded now to Windows 11 2023 update version 23H2. And what I would suggest, if you're not seeing the update uh, uh, on your Windows Update page, is to use the Installation Assistant. And even Microsoft says that this is the best option um, as an alternate to Windows Update. And I would suggest this option. It took about 45 minutes on my system and was a successful update. But something to take note of, um, and by the way, I'll leave this uh, download page in the description so you can check out all these download links. Uh, if you click on, on download now, if we head to your download location, yeah, you'll see the installation assistant. It's a small download, and what you do is you um, open up the actual uh, tool, and it's a standalone app, so it doesn't get installed on your system, and then you will have to download the PC Health Check app, which is the link is available uh, in the assistant. And then once you've downloaded the uh, PC Health Check app, then you'll have to check if your system meets the requirements. And the PC Health Check app is installed onto your device. And just click on check for now. And you can see mine meets all the requirements. And then what you would do is I would close the installation assistant, relaunch it, and then you will have the option to start downloading the 23H2 feature update. It takes about it took about 45 minutes on my device. And you just follow the prompts. And it's a simple process. And that's what I would suggest if you are running Windows 11 22H2 and are not seeing the update on your Windows Update page, use the Installation Assistant. Then another thing you can use, um, you can use the Media Creation Tool to download the Windows 11 23H2 um, feature update and create a bootable disk or drive using the tool. And that would be the next best option. So if you want to perform a reinstall or clean install of, of Windows 11, on a new or used PC, use this option to download the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD as mentioned. And then the third thing you can try uh, is you can download the disk image ISO file uh, for Windows 11. And this image file, um, in case you are interested, the ISO, the size of it is six, approximately 6.24 gigabytes. And that will include the build 22631.2428, which is the um, actual 23H2 um, OS build for the feature update. And then you can, you, once you've downloaded um, the ISO file, as mentioned, just over six gigabytes in size, um, you can put that on a thumb drive or a flash drive, whatever it's called in your region. Or you can also use Rufus, um, which is a third party app to install uh, Windows 11 um, as another option. So those are a couple of different options. And as mentioned, I would suggest using the installation assistant. That would be your next best approach. And just to double check to see if you have the feature update and how you can check to see if you are running Windows 11 22H2 or 23H2, it's actually quite simple. And like we always do on the channel, we head over to Winver. Just do a search for Winver. Hit enter. 
And there we go. And yeah, you can check to see if you have the update installed. Version 23H2 OS build 22631.2506. And if you see 23H2 there, obviously the feature update has been installed on your device. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.